Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Janine Ajo, and I'm the chair of the Department of Pediatrics here at St. Barnabas Health System. And today we're going to talk to you about the VAX chat. The VAX chat is our opportunity as medical providers to talk to you about the COVID-19 vaccines. We have come across multiple questions about the safety and efficacy of the vaccine, and we're here today to answer all of your questions. First, many of you have asked, why is it important to get the vaccine? Well, it's very important to get the vaccine because it's been proven to be over 94% effective. It helps to prevent disease, it helps to prevent serious sickness if you do come down with the disease, and it helps our hospitals to not be overwhelmed by people who are sick with COVID-19. Two, some of you have asked, are there any reactions to the vaccines? Well, the most common reaction we've seen is pain at the ejection site, redness, headache, and fatigue. It's important to note that we don't really call them reactions. It's a sign that your body is responding to the vaccine the way it's supposed to be and is mounting an appropriate immune response. Next, we were asked, is one vaccine preferable to the other for specific patients? As you know, the FDA has provided emergency approval for two vaccines, the Pfizer vaccine and the Moderna vaccine. The Moderna vaccine has been approved for patients 18 and over, and the Pfizer vaccine has been approved for patients 16 and over. Both have a very good efficacy rate, meaning that the vaccine works to prevent disease in more than 94% of people. Next, we were asked, who should not receive the vaccine? So, so far, it looks as if only those people who have been authorized to get the vaccine should have it. So that's in Pfizer, those patients over the age of 16, and the Moderna, those patients over the age of 18. Children so far have not been tested to see if they are eligible to receive the vaccine. But there are ongoing trials now which have enrolled children um, as young as below the age of 16 and as young as six months to see if they are eligible to receive the vaccine. We've found that only those who have had anaphylactic or allergic reactions to components of vaccine should not receive the COVID-19 vaccine. If you have a food allergy or allergy to something else, we do recommend that after receiving the vaccine, you wait 30 minutes to make sure there's no reaction. We do recommend that all immunosuppressed people receive the COVID-19 vaccine. When will I be protected after the vaccine and for how long? So typically vaccine protection will last about seven to 14 days, will start, excuse me, will start about 17, seven to 14 days after receiving the second dose of the vaccine. At this point, we're not sure how long protection lasts, but we can presume for at least four months after receiving the vaccine, you'll have protection. Should pregnant or breastfeeding persons receive the COVID-19 vaccine? Based on current knowledge, experts believe that the COVID-19 vaccine poses no acute risk to breastfeeding or pregnant persons. But you should talk with your healthcare provider before receiving the vaccine. You should be aware that COVID-19 infection does pose a serious risk to pregnant persons. Can the vaccine cause COVID? No, the vaccines cannot cause COVID. There's no part of the virus within the current vaccines that are authorized for use. So you will not get COVID by receiving the vaccine. Can or should I get the vaccine if I've had COVID? Yes, the current recommendations are that even if you have had COVID, you should receive the vaccine. We're not sure how much you, protection you receive from having the natural infection. So it's always good to boost your immune response by receiving the vaccine. And lastly, do the vaccines prevent transmission of the virus to others? Currently, we're not sure of that information right now. We're waiting to hear back from studies from Pfizer and Moderna to see if there's a reduction of transmission of the virus after you receive the vaccine. Availability and eligibility. So is the vaccine available for children? 
currently right now, as I mentioned, the vaccines are now, um, el uh, those eligible to receive the vaccines are above the age of 16. So the Pfizer vaccine has been approved for children over the age of 16 and the Moderna vaccine for children over the age of 18. As I mentioned before, there are clinical trials underway testing for efficacy and safety for children under the age of 16. And we should have those results shortly. Now, information regarding the vaccine. There are a number of websites um, that the New York City Health Department and the New York State Health Department have designed to give information about the COVID virus and also the COVID-19 vaccine. So some places where you can look for information are www.nyc.gov, and that's the New York City Department of Health website that gives information about the COVID-19 virus as well as the vaccine. And as we talk about distributing the vaccine to the public, there is a website called www.vaccinefinder.nyc.gov. And with this website, you can put in your zip code and they will give you the location of the, lo of the closest distribution center. Thank you.